you know, what are they doing? They wearing gold chains and suit trains. Does anybody know about this dude? Okay. So let me tell you about this. These two are when he made the show. Right? In the, day, in the 80s in New York, Dapper Dan was the man. It was that you wanted to do. Dapper Dan was the other labels they didn't notice. So he would go and get the prints. The dope boys. And, and um, but Dan was very instrumental in advertising related to this picture. They saw that, that you could get shirts everybody else want one. But check you. Gucci just sold it to Gucci now. Hmm. An indication of how now all of a sudden knowing the whole time. See, a lot of side note, a lot of what we come up with, we come up with out of necessity. We come up with out of being broke. To eat what two hot dogs and an egg and a kick in the refrigerator. And you make a you make a meal out of that. It's the same thing, right? So most people know basically innovation comes out of desperation. Mm -hmm. Household income and things like that wasn't the way they are now. So if you couldn't afford cars or a luxury house or whatever back then, the best thing to do was to what? Look like you got money, right? And you didn't have to really spend that much money. So that same thing still go on in 2018. You go to the next one. So, Steve Stout is the founder of Translation Brand Branding Agency. Heard Kid and Play. Mm -hmm. um, for anybody, a little hip hop fact, for anybody that remember Nas and, and P. Diddy did a song years ago called Hate Me Now. Mm -hmm. And there was some controversy about Nas being picked up on the cross like Jesus. So, this particular uproar happened to where supposedly P. Diddy, Putty, whatever you want to call him, him and his boys went up in the office of Nas' manager at the time and beat him up. So, he went from managing Nas and Mary J. Blige to starting his own advertising agency. So, a lot of the commercials that we see now, he's behind. But when you see P. Diddy do a Ciroc commercial, that, that probably has went through Steve. If you see uh, Apple do a song with the Big Boy song, it is all right. The little emojis on there that's steep so he brought he, he he's the broker to these things uh a few years ago mary j blige had a uh was she was advertising a cosmetic line called carol's daughter i don't know if y'all remember that mm -hmm. he was he came in and meshed hip-hop to advertising because before then advertising didn't really understand how to reach black america which i read like a bible to be honest with you and the book is How Hip Hop Created a Culture That Rewrote the Rules of the New Economy. I have the book right here. And that book has been out for probably a few years now. You can go to the next one. All right, so as a reader, doing the Carol's Daughter, revenue is expected to exceed. We know that whatever women spend money, we think it's actually black. Now, to what number of what I'm alluding to is products that eat black dollar. And we all know about it anyhow. We go to the next one. So black women buying power is helping to define mainstream culture. Uh, Newers had the highest rate of growth, 67%. Out of other groups in the number of firms, they held pri primary, primary ownership over from 2007 to 2015. Mm -hmm. So black females are the, they got the bag. Like by looking into it. The next slide is, I showed y'all what you will see so all spirit. Uh, 2000, and that ever since night for style was like the most expensive. So what happened was in 2006, it was uh, his backlash to that was basically he didn't really, you know, care to put out free promotion since 19. Right. So he turned. Um, now that's little, little known fact. Ace of Spades is not really top shelf. The minute stop drinking. Ace of Spades said. But the fact of influence, the power of influence, is what made hip hop be able to turn around to the state of the company. On the side of that, he was paid millions of dollars and he had equity. And the people that don't know anything about the champagne market, the quality of taste, or anything like that, they're going to spend money on Ace of Spades because, as you said, by Ace of Spades. So we'll go to the next one. I'll tell them about this. Does anybody know who these guys are? Yes, the clips. The clips, right? We have 
tattoo was about the mouth. They was, they was, they was that deal for a second. Two brothers, malice with Dre, right? But Pusha been around for a while. Pusha T. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm looking. I'm <laughs> Here again, the power of the culture. Street, dope, uh, you know, shooting, killing, robbing. But the genius stand creativity is creativity, no matter where it comes from, no matter what your thought process is. Here's the kicker. Pusha T came up with the jingle. He forgot to take out publishing credit for the jingle. I mean, it's still being played, yeah. right? Whoa, Justin Timberlake got paid six million dollars for it. Remember his name? Remember this person I just showed? I just talked to y'all about. Mm -hmm. He was the one that broke up the deal. He was the person that meshed Pusha T with McDonald's to come up with the gene. So that goes back to him having the advertising agency and knowing how to put the culture. Why didn't Steve make sure that? that he did, that the paperwork was right. I don't know, for yeah. brokering the deal. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was, you know what? That's an interesting. So is he really for the culture, knowing that no. he's still doing things on the side? I mean, I'm pretty sure for Pusha, that was the deal, right. to be completely honest. Right. Yeah. So for Steve to step in, that was like a straight teaching moment for him to be able That's to true. say, hey, yeah. look, this That's is- That's true. Now, now, just playing Justin Timberlake got six million. Yeah. I don't know how much push you might have got. Yeah. Even though he didn't sign even though didn't if, the you, right. if you signed a publishing deal, mm -hmm. that'd be yeah. might have been twenty and at that time, think about it. This is like, oh like, you know, I'm doing But it's the same it's the same thing as a and, and I'm a historian, y'all. I do I do I read this all the time. It's the same thing as uh from the hot boys when they coined the term bling bling and they didn't they do it on it. Mm -hmm. But even when you in positions like this and you got money in your pocket, you still don't supposed to leave money on the table. You get an $8 million bag, it's like, okay, well, you know. But you know what? I think that we have to stop that mentality. Definitely. We'll never, so if it, it, I mean, it's about the undoing of all of the stuff that we've been taught. No doubt, most so that we can. So these, so, no, no, you're right. So these are, you know, these are lessons being learned, whether it's advertising, whether it's the music business, you know, it's, it's always been, you know what I'm saying? So. Hence again, that's you know that's why I do what I do because I love the culture so much to where I enjoy doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Simply because I know when I'm done, I done educated somebody on something, even if it's one person. Mm -hmm. That's cool for me. You know, uh, hip hop creative directors and designers are some of the biggest brands in the world. And here again, this is this is a a, 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 a cause and effect of when you bring people that's from the culture in to sell your product. Now all that, now some of these don't make sense. Like Alicia Keith, the creative director for, uh, I want to say uh, it was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like what, I mean, what Alicia Keys gonna do with cell phone? But little how does she learn how to sell a cell phone? I mean, she could try to get her following to buy the phone. But one thing you learn about marketing and advertising, your following can be your following, but if it don't make sense to them, they're not gonna buy it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you are trying to sell Samsung phones to buy a Samsung phone, it, 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 just, it don't make sense to them. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is just a list of some. Uh, some are, are young, uh, fairly younger artists. Some are older. ASAP Rocky, creative director for MTV Labs. What is MTV? Uh, it's like a subsidiary of MTV. You know, um, what really stick out to me that I really feel like makes sense out of all of this, I don't really know how Pharrell is going to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Did, he, did, he did that. Um, mm -hmm. So, what, you know, what really I highlighted me being from Atlanta, what you know, me you? being part of Atlanta culture, since I was little, I can bring whatever, you know, we had dance groups and stuff back then. So, you know, that was a thing. So, you can go ahead, Rose. It's a shoe line. Right? It's a shoe line. Right? Cross that brand right? of the right? Yeah, she did. She did the, uh, recently, Jay Z just, they just gave him a bag for being over like Puma. So last thing, um, and this is just an uh, excerpt from Steve Stout again. Say, a store named Bling in a small, huge impact of the name on uh, what we look at every day on TV, what we hear on stuff in me before I came. Uh, but thank you know, thank God for this. Him helped me 
to build up the confidence enough to just start doing stuff like this. And I just started doing it out the blue. So I, one other thing I ask for y'all to do, I have a, a, a sheet of paper, uh, hip hop culture for the next week. Don't laugh. I was so excited. Where are you? <laughs> 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 are you using slides? Yeah, but we'll wait for them to finish. This is some grand marketing agency marketing that there is to be working. What about you? Oh, well, yes, I'm his answer, so I'm sure. Good that. Person is, I call my. And when you think about aggregation, if you look up the word aggregation, the post of branding in business. Olivia Pope. Okay. Olivia Pope, <laughs> a business <laughs> friend, yeah. So I usually, when clients come to me wanting to work with me, I analyze their business, what they're doing. And like you said, a lot of times we go and that's the only thing we focus on. When, if you go into, once you, like if you have someone coming in from the outside, my job is to ask them. Can you tell me on the scene? Piercing art. Also, okay. Engage with her. You should be getting into it. And not just body drawing on your website to, to make a huge amount of money so that when you want to her distribution, online. Target. I do you get your product in the store. So you got to get the product. I designed the product. Brandon.com. You'll see I did a blog, um, blog on the psychology of Depending on your business, you know, what age range tree. Okay. Well, what are a lot of colors with black and white? Like stuff like that, right? Not any pink. I usually do a lot of like pinks because I want to attract your clientele. And then you have to work on the one sheeter. And the one sheeter is everything about all the components in that computer, right? It's your big mm -hmm. It's like a fact sheet. Yeah. You're all, your product is um, you know, that, that helps put this product together that makes it so the company and distri distribution company. But a lot of times, what you need, websites, your product into their distribution of your product and get it. People think, what do you think branding is? Special, something that differentiates, uh, I'm saying, this is, this is this, and this is what it do. Mm, that's just one little part of branding. You telling your story before you allow your audience. You don't want other people saying, this is what you are, and planning. When they first started um, doing, you look it up, it's the guy, Ty. I'm pretty sure you're going to win. Yeah, but that's what that's what we put it out there. So that way, other exactly guru in your industry. That's my job. Um, Startup companies put it straight on out there. That's your business foundation. Foundation. That's branding. Just jumping in and skip all the at the right way the first time. But who's not incorporated? Because you don't want. People. There was like what's the last year? she's on Love and Hip Hop, but mm -hmm. now she had a name mm -hmm. and made her pay thirty. Learn everything that you can learn with Mr. Leach, and he's great on whatever I do. Then when we sat down, he was like, I'm a teacher. Well, how come you don't understand that's the truth? Even with my agency, our clients, when they first come to us, I them um, to the different. So I don't stand up. I can't cater to you get in research, you get in marketing. And with technology the way it is, now it's Seven percent of marketing is video marketing. It's up out there, video like camera. But my clients, oh, I make them that I use the people. You know how you go to the country and you know, she looking through the people, the blinds, and she went to the house last night, and everything, right? That's social media. Be intrigued with you and buy your services, you know, and want to. Uh, Took her people. She she started out on the phone. Once her fan base was six, right? And it started out with her just telling stories. Her first million dollar um, bill. I remember last year with the Boys and Girls Club, and you start developing a product now and put you. She was 16 years old. Hair mm -hmm. glue, you know, selling hair. With any business, you know, so I went out to California to go do videos. But you get just enough. That's, yeah, pretty much, I guess. I hope I. I love working with startups. 
because the money is right. <laughs> Stuff I ain't hearing there, so it's because it just see uh, seeds in the soil, and I was you know you know power up a lot of. I'm pretty. Go ahead. Somebody, you want, yeah. You know, help people. Mm -hmm. Like you don't got like like. Some, I do retainers, so in the market industry. Like, like what's your success rate? Oh, yeah. So yeah. for a year and a half, there's a lot of times I cry. <laughs> and learn from those mistakes and get back up, you know. And I would get up and fall and learn from those lessons. Anybody who went straight into it, majority of the time, they came from money. Um, Kenyatta Gordon wordpress.com. I do a blog on the journey of an uh, entrepreneur about the struggle because I want you to keep on going and know that somebody else went through it as well. <laughs> We got one more speaker. Hey, Miss. So my name is uh, Rhea. I am a former student of Atlanta Technical College, a two-time graduate. And um, like I said, I'm the owner of Realistic Beauty Colleges. Um, school. Um, like I said, I am the, um, as well as I own my own LLC. So um, here I just want to, um, I've done uh, numerous of well. Um, I don't really limit myself, Caucasian makeup, Asian, uh, ago. so I actually brand in social media. His name is and he's a makeup artist. It was for a so I was really blessed to really um, social media. Seeing him, I'm like, I know you. <laughs> Fun. We go to the next one. Um, um, and your company, Just Beauty. I believe that every woman www got realistic. Let's men book their appointments for their one social. Um, a not the. Uh, no, I was not an LLC when I I needed this. This will help you out. But everything. Or associate because she's an LLC. Because I just did a whole individual and, and they're so allergic. If she wasn't, if she was a sole proprietor, yeah. then at one point I owned a painting company. Painting company. So and for the trademark that I um very important that you because because when you operate as a business, it more protection, more coverage. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump does it all the time. Mm -hmm. But if people book, the so that you can and then LLC. I mean you know the game invested in her LLC. Uh, companies, registered agents, they actually have sales, during, and that was last year. So I know, and it's mm -hmm. a long term investment. Mm -hmm. And so the thing, mm -hmm. I have my yeah. credit. Mm -hmm. that also, so mm -hmm. good. But good. their business credit score was alone. So, so, so that, that I'm, I'm glad you said. And so I have to separate my business mm -hmm. tax policy. That's mm -hmm. right. Just I mean, you choose, choose but, uh, an LLC. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Talk about business. Yeah. So you, I put my, and then I'm going to for my colors. Mm -hmm. Is as convenient as possible for you. I want you to follow me on Instagram because I need a break from social media. Email U T. Who is Rhea? I mean, I've been doing this for coming in that drive and that grit. Anybody know what grit is? Mm -hmm. And you can make something of yourself. That's my presentation, and I just want to say thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, is there any quick questions or anything? All right. Um, Tanika Snoop. Where do we find you at? Office Depot? I mean, your speaker? Oh, like the J. Windshields. All right, guys. Thank you for that. Of course, we were here at Atlanta Technical College. We were using a joystick to live stream and to create content in your capacity. In Jesus' name we pray. You got to go.